In this set of videos, we're going to be learning how to make a Flappy Bird style game um, in Scratch. The first thing that I've done when I opened Scratch was to go to this button here, Paint a New Sprite, and I've just used the Circle tool and a quick a couple of lines to create my Flappy Bird. So I'll click OK, and I want to get rid of Scratch the Cat, so I'll right click and delete him. And up here, I'm going to call my Sprite Flappy Bird. Now, as you can probably tell, that sprite is a bit big, so I'm going to use my shrink sprite tool just to size to resize him there. That'll do. And I'll click away to get my arrow back. The first bit of code we're going to write will um, basically put some gravity into the game. So on your flappy bird, when the green flag is clicked and the forever loop and for motion you want to change y you want to change y by let's try minus three there we go and as you'll see my bird starts to sink in order for the game to be playable what we need to do is to set a start point for our bird and that will be on the y-axis zero in the middle and on the x-axis, I'm going to put him slightly to the back, so minus 110. So another piece of code. When the green flag is clicked, go to x equals minus 110 and y equals 0. So if I click the green flag, my bird should go to about here and start to sink. There we go. And finally in this video, to get the jumps right, we're going to add a keyboard command, which is when, and we're going to use the space bar, when the space key is pressed, change y by, and let's, let's experiment, let's try 5 for the moment, let's test it, not enough, so we'll increase y there. Um, to 10 still not enough so we'll keep playing around maybe even 50 let's try it there we go so now we're getting a slight jump in action like so again play around with your values there I probably want a slightly bigger jump myself so I'm going to try 75 um, once that's done move on to the next video